Hi, Sherry here from No Fucks Game Crew. How's it going? Uh, so I wanted to get a Twin Flame reading out to you early. Um, so this is going to be a reading for the 15th until the 22nd of August. Um, so I've been taking some time to work on my cards uh, for the past couple of weeks. As I mentioned in my last video, it is a priority for me um, you know, to get these cards done and printed. Um, so just letting you know, I'm, I'm done with, uh, the cards. Um, you can see that some of the backs are still a little painted up, so I got to fix that part of them. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you sent me out an email, I will get to that, um, sometime today. Um... And if you've been waiting for a reading, I apologize. Like I said, I need to work on my cards. Uh, so I, um, I will get to you, Lexi and Cecile, today sometime. I'll throw a little extra candy on the readings for you, okay? And thank you for being patient. Um, but everybody else, um, I will get to those emails today for sure, okay? And so what I'm going to be doing here is a crystal ball reading, which is a 5x5 five five grid. Um, and so there's a distant past, a recent past, uh, present position, and near future. Then there's going to be four cornerstone cards which represent the main energies of the reading. Yes, I do. So I'll paint on my hands. Um, and then there's going to be one center card which represents the main message from the universe. I'll also pull um, what the feminine's bringing into the union, what the masculine's bringing in. Um, the foundation crowning and I'll look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy um, so I will also pull two cards for a message from the universe as well okay so let's begin using my cards here all right so fo first cornerstone card oh my god why can't I talk um, first cornerstone card distant past position magician number one so this is um, realizing how powerful you are the number one is a new beginning, right? So you're creating a new life for yourself. So this is illumination. The crown chakra is wide open and there's a connection from the crown chakra to source. So I have Tesla represented here. Um, so this is someone who knows the secrets of reality um, and discovered a way to pull energy from source. Uh, so that everyone could have free energy in their lives, right? But it was suppressed. Um, so that knowledge is still there. Um, so, you know, a lot of people are realizing that reality isn't the way that it's being represented. Um, that we are powerful beings. Um, and, you know, you can tap into this energy at any time. And you've realized this, right? So number one... Um, new beginning empowerment wow heart chakra beautiful um so this is a genderless spread okay so these energies are shared between the feminine and the masculine and if i need um any clarifiers i'll, I'll use the osho zen but right now both aspects are realizing their power both aspects um, their heart chakra is wide open. Okay, so distant past, beautiful, um, loving, healing energy here. Uh, so what you are manifesting is love into your life. Chariot. Wow. So like three major arcanas so far. Um, well, actually the ch yeah, chakra card isn't a major arcana, but it's a major energy. So the chariot is a water card um, the fool is air so this is movement this is taking control of your life taking those reins and directing yourself uh, towards your goals towards the things that make you happy um, so you know here I have a surfer depicted who uses uh, the surfboard to maneuver through the vortex of life right so it's movement forward with control with direction with courage, strength, determination.
Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So two ones so far. Um, so the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. It's uh, the windfall card. So it is, you are given an offer um, or, you know, money and abundance came into your life. Uh, so the Ace of Pentacles also represents a brand new beginning in a 3D reality. So you opened yourself up. Your heart is on fire, okay? That is the motor that drives this twin flame connection. It is the motor that drives awareness and awakening. And that's beautiful. What I'm seeing here is this power and strength coming from love. And as a result of your courage and your confidence and determination, this beautiful offering was given uh, to both aspects. Okay, so you're taking that Ace of Wands, or sorry, Ace of Pentacles, and going after your dreams. And Spirit is is just, you know, congratulating yourself, or congratulating you. So another cornerstone card, Eight of Wands. Very interesting. Um, and I'm saying this because I actually tried to start this reading once before um, and I got interrupted. And so I started it over. And so this card was in this exact same position. Um, and there was a similar energy being represented as well, just in a slightly different form. So the message is still being repeated. I can't believe that. It's beautiful. So, um, yeah, Eight of Wands, this is communication. It's my second most important communication card. Uh, so it's a distant past cornerstone card. So it means that there was communication be between the twins or that communication was desired. Um, but what I'm feeling is, you know, for most twin flames that it happened. So this is Cupid's Arrows. But this also represents manifestation, and it makes a lot of sense with this magician card, wanting to manifest, sending those seeds of intention out into the universe. And on the other side, we got that manifestation coming back down. Okay, so recent past position. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, another one. So three ones so far. Um, so this represents a completion, though. Number ten is an, um, an arrival. You, you made it. So what I'm feeling from this is, you know, we got that Ace of Pentacles in the distant past, that, that new beginning, that offering. And it's it manifested this beautiful life uh, or this vision. This is a long-term goal. This is... Uh, retirement um, so it is that final resting place uh, it represents having enough abundance in your life that you don't have to worry about money anymore so you're surrounded by friends family it's a very grounded energy it's safety security home and love okay and it's manifested into the 3d so we got that you know magician there the master manifester and it feels to me like your reality is being manifested or that, um, you know, this abundance is on its way. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are surrounded by material wealth. You know, you could be poor as a motherfucker and still have this feeling, you know, it's not needing to rush out and work a nine to five job, right? It's just, uh, you know, take a deep breath and just relax and be, you know, just live your life, right? Okay, next. Three of Pentacles. So this is uh, a firm foundation. So it's a groundedness. It is taking that, again, that Ace of Pentacles and rooting it. Uh, so this means there's still more work to do, okay? So we got that Ten of Pentacles there uh, with the Three of Pentacles beside it. So because it's side by side, I see it as a vision. You know, you sent this intention out and it's manifesting, it's growing here. But again, there's still more work to do. Two of Wands. 
Um, so the Two of Wands represents making a decision to embark on a spiritual journey, embark on your truer, higher, authentic life. Okay, so living your life purpose. So this decision was made in the past. Um, so you made this long time ago. Um, but it does represent waiting, waiting for the manifestation, waiting for things to materialize. So this foundation, this connection, you started it in the past, you moved forward with it. Now abundance is raining down on you. There's good things coming towards you. However, like I said, there's a sense of a weight involved in the recent past. Wow, Ten of Cups. Incredible. Right below the Ace of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles there as well. Um, so this is, again, manifestation. It is a completion, Ten, an ending. So the, both these Tens reduce down to one again, so a new beginning. But this is harmony, peace, love, bliss, just every happy emotion that you can imagine. So it's harmony within the family as well as within romantic relationships. So you, in the recent past, felt a great deal of love coming into your life and security. Um, and your dreams are being manifested. Uh, shit's happening, for sure. Wow. King of Cups. So this could represent an air, or sorry, a water sign, female or male. Uh, so this is somebody who has their heart wide open. They um, are emotionally balanced um, and they give their love without um, hesitation. And the love they feel is very deep. This is Kurt Cobain. Um, so one of his quotes is that, you know, the, the reason why he's so sad is because he, he loves so deeply that it hurts him. Um, so yeah, this is pure, innocent, beautiful love sent out into the universe. And it's right beside the Ten of Cups and right below, you know, the Cupid's arrows there. So, oh my God, that's so beautiful. So both aspects, um, have really come into their heart space and they're realizing that they already have it all and that they have the power to manifest a reality and that's what you are doing um so you know there is a, a masculine energy being represented here so that could mean that the masculine uh are really opening up their heart and you know they're not afraid to pursue love and make it a reality in their, their world. So present position, page of swords. So again, another important communication card. Um, so the page is a messenger while a uh, sword is communication. Now this could also mean, you know, that you need to make a decision or that you are making a decision. This is ideas. Um, creative ideas so you know it's also formulating plans um, but it really speaks of communication for me so either you need to speak your truth or that communication is coming or that a decision is made so it's right beneath the ten of pentacles and magician so what I'm really feeling from this is this vision, this long-term goal um, is being held in your mind and there's no wavering from it. There's so much mental clarity here um, and determination to make that Ten of Pentacles you know, a reality. But then again, you know, this could mean that some twins have come into union all right, next is the base chakra. Very interesting that it's below the foundation card. Um, so this is safety, security, um, sustenance, um, just groundedness. But it is a lower chakra. So 
for both aspects, this is an important chakra that both need to work on. The heart is open, the neck chakra to open in the present moment is the base. So we're kind of going down, <clears throat> sorry, uh, the um, heart chakra is number four, whereas this is number one. So we do have another one, however, there's, like I said, um, it could mean that, you know, on a very basic level, that, there, that, that foundation is unwavering, it's not unmovable. But why is it so important to you? Um, why is this feeling of groundedness in reality so important? So I'm actually going to pull a um, Osho Zen card for that. Spirit, what do you mean by the Page of Swords and the Base Chakra? Conditioning, the Devil. All right, so the devil was an important card in last week's reading. So it showed up twice on the feminine side, I believe. So there's a message here of, you know, unconditioning, uh, releasing the chain. Um, and for some, you know, it might be a fairly large sacrifice that's required. And so you don't feel safe enough to do it just yet, perhaps. Okay, so this card recalls an old Zen story about a lion who was brought up by sheep and who thought he was a sheep until an old lion captured him and looked him, oh sorry, and took him to a pond where he showed him his own reflection. Many of us are like this lion. The image we have of ourselves comes not from our own direct experience, but from the opinions of others. The personality imposed from the outside replaces the individuality that could have grown from within. We become just another sheep in the herd, unable to move freely and unconscious of our own true identity. It's time to take a look at your own reflection in the pond and make a move to break out of whatever you have been conditioned by others to believe about yourself. Dance, run, jog, do gibberish whatever is needed to wake up the sleeping line within okay so you know th there's that realization of being chained being conditioned being the sheep right and so this could mean for both aspects that you are becoming unchanged unchained you're realizing your power your strength as a lion um, so this card is pulled for both of these. So, you know, the Bay Chakra represents that safety, feeling safe under the veil of conditioning um, and maybe possibly not being willing to let go of that safety net. Um, so it is a message that you know both aspects need to release whatever that is and it could be uh it could re uh, mean a uh, codependent relationship an addiction or just a belief that you're not good enough you know something is holding both of you back okay so the next card is the main message from the universe your point wow high priest so crown chakra again wide open the high priest usually for me represents the masculine in the 5D, um, but because this is a genderless spread, it, it's both of the um, twins' energies, or it could just be one, who knows, um, whatever is true for you, sorry about that. Uh, so the high priest is a spiritual leader. This is one who has gained a great deal of wisdom and knowledge and is sharing that wisdom with others. So it's like, you know, we got this juxtaposition of fear and thinking you're not good enough, you know, lower base energy um, versus this spiritual being who's uplifted, who is, you know, wise um, and a leader, right? So. I think Spirit is saying, know who you are, disconnect, realize that you are the lion amongst the sheep, 
and step into your higher calling, you know, and, and it doesn't mean you need to run out and be a leader. No, it means living your true authentic life. Okay. Not bending to the will of others, not allowing yourself to be manipulated and controlled. Um, what I really feel is just spiritual, um, opening, awakening and empowerment. Uh, so, you know, this journey brought me, um, to tarot, uh, a year ago, I would have thought you guys were crazy that I would be doing this right now. Um, as I've mentioned before, you know, I'm a dental hygienist. This is not my normal job. I do have, you know, I work part time, so I do have some free time to, to do the tarot, but I don't, I honestly have no idea how I have arrived at this place. Okay, so my spiritual path, um, I basically just woke up one day and there I was. I was in that moment and it's from release. It's from, you know, pursuing what makes me happy instead of what's going to give me, you know, material gain. So I feel, you know, I have arrived at that certain level where I am awake, aware of my power, um, and I am unchained. Uh, however, you know, this is a general reading, right? So it uh, represents both the masculine and feminine. Okay, we all need to embody this, this spiritual power uh, and live your truth, okay? Um, for yourself, not for anyone else. Okay, next. Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. So another one. Okay, we got two ones on either side of the high priest there. So uh, the Wheel of Fortune is, um, I have Justin Timberlake represented here. So um, this has to do with the song, what goes around comes around. So what you put out, you get back. Okay, you put out negative vibrations um, and that will come back to you tenfold. All right, so this represents also the ending of a cycle from five to ten years uh, and that there is a shift occurring um, in consciousness, in awareness, and it has to do with the entire world, okay? So we are all waking up. We are all realizing our power. We are all... Uh, you know, accepting this love into our life. You send out love, guess what? It's coming back tenfold. Okay, next. Four of Pentacles. So, this row is present moment, all right? So, some of you may be still holding on to material possessions, um, you know, not willing to share um, not willing to give uh, and or receive. So the Four of Pentacles is masculine here who is closed off. So this could mean that, you know, both of you are closing yourself off to each other or to external world. You're not allowing your um, yourself to be influenced by the external. So for me, what I'm feeling is a positive energy here, right? You're holding, you're, it's like you're holding this space of knowing, um, but it's the act of holding on to that that is making you feel insecure. Uh, so let go, okay? Allow destiny to, to do its thing. This is the destiny card, um, and it's, you know, don't close yourself off, okay? Especially masculines, open up. Um, be that king of love. Send out love into the universe. Um, you know, what's the worst that can happen? You actually feel emotions? <laughs> so, yeah, in the near future position, nine of swords. So this is 
anxiety, stress, worry, guilt, fear, staying up at night, inability to sleep, nightmares, night terrors. So the nine is nearing the completion of feeling this way. So near future, um, both aspects will be releasing fears um, and uncaging themselves. You know, it's right below the page of swords and the base chakra talking about, you know, that chain, unchaining, right? So overcoming your fear and letting that go so that this manifestation can fully come into your life. Seven of swords, or sorry, yeah, seven of swords, that's nine, seven. So there's a lot of mental garbage that's going to be coming up in the near future. So the seven of swords is not being able to trust somebody, feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, betrayed, belittled, um, taken advantage of. So, you know, that nine of swords, all that fear is coming from this thought, right? So um, there seems to be an event in the near future that will ask you to release that, that fear, let go of those thoughts. Queen of Swords. So this could represent an air sign, both fe feminine or masculine. Um, this represents communication, mental clarity, um, a detachment from emotions, um, and speaking your truth, seeing through bullshit, calling someone out. So what I what I'm sensing here is that there is a confrontation. Um, it's like this person says, fuck it, I need to speak my truth, um, tell this person how I feel. And, you know, a lot of the times I see the um, Queen of Swords as a karmic partner because there is no emotional attachment. Um, you know, with this feminine, it's all about thought, what's the right thing to do, the, you know, the truth, justice, um, making decisions, you know. So this could mean um, the feminine or masculine confronting their karmic, speaking their truth. Um, or it could just mean that, you know, there's, there's something that you need to deal with that you finally deal with in the future. I don't know. Um, let's pull an Osho Zen for that because it's a very interesting, you know, little cluster of cards there. What do you mean by the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Swords spirit, please? Nine of Swords again. Same card. So, Sorrow. Closing yourself off, holding on to pain. Okay. The image of the image is of Ananda, the cousin of a discipline or sorry, a disciple of Gautam Buddha. He was at Buddha's side constantly, attending to his every need for forty two years. When Buddha died, the story is told that Ananda was still at his side weeping. The other disciples chastised him for his misunderstanding. Buddha had died absolutely fulfilled. He should be rejoicing, but Ananda said, You misunderstand. I'm weeping not for him, but for myself, because for all of these years I've been constantly at his side, but I still have not attained. Ananda stayed awake for a whole night, meditating deeply and feeling his pain and sorrow. By the morning, it is said, he was enlightened. Times of great sorrow have the potential to be times of great transformation. But in order for transformation to happen, we must go deep to the very root of our pain and experience it as it is, without blame or self-pity. Wow. So you need to go to the depth of this fear, this pain, this you know, negative energy and speak your truth and release yourself from that. So for some, this could mean, you know, the dark night of the soul. You need to move through that veil, release that fear. Strength card. So this is going to require strength, love, compassion um, that comes from within, 
right? It's transmuting negative thoughts, negative energy, negative people into this loving energy. So Spirit is saying the way through this confrontation is through love. Okay, not fighting, not pushing your will on somebody, saying this is my way or no way. No, it's listening to everyone. It's sitting down. It's discussing things. It's, um, you know, creating this warm, safe environment. The Queen of Pentacles. So we got two queens here so this could be you know um, three people involved so the queen of pentacles is an earth sign or it could represent the feminine in her 3d but really it could mean the masculine or the feminine it doesn't necessarily have to be feminine just because a queen is here but generally i like to think that way <clears throat> sorry so the queen of pentacles is someone who's independent wealthy one moment. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Who has, you know, created this life from the, for themselves, this stability. Um, and you can see that really strongly with the Ten Pentacles in the past. She's done a lot of work. She's, you know, she's going after the things that she desired. She's manifesting. This is all about manifestation and harvest. Um, and looking after yourself as well. So this could represent, you know, the masculine needing to make a choice between an air sign and an earth sign or someone who has air qualities, you know, mentally detached um, versus someone who has earth qualities, who is um, independent, free, who is um, financially stable, who shares their wealth with others um, and you know like I said it could be a release of a karmic in order to connect with your feminine in the 3d reality this is what you desire and this is what you're afraid of um, yeah so the near future will be this hesitation and then a decision to actually you know cut out whatever needs to be cut out of your life but like I said, do it in a loving manner, uh, from a loving space, right? Um, don't allow fears to pull you back in. And um, yeah, okay, so last row, cornerstone card. Wow, lover's card. So the main energy is this loving connection, this twin flame connection. Um, and manifesting it, sending those seeds out into, the, you know, the field of possibility. Um, so this represents a, that passion ignited, that deep love, that desire. It's animalistic hunger, um, you know, sexual passion. And but it is a longing card. It's wanting that. It's desiring it. Okay, so. I definitely feel it manifesting into your reality. Um, however, like I said, there's fears that need to be released. Six of Pentacles, oh my God, very cool. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles, Base Chakra, and then Six of Pentacles, which is my cohabitation card. It is the sharing of your life with somebody in 3D. Um, so it's an even exchange of energy between both aspects so this is manifested is what I'm feeling um, it is a longing energy but it's being manifested sharing your life Wow the universe card oh my god this showed up a couple times in the twin flame readings last week so this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed uh, it's a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime, but it is going through all those stages of awakening, illumination, awareness, allowing that, that transformation to occur and purging and going through the fire time and time again. But um, it feels to me that that final piece is about to be placed. Okay, and it, it is connected to that high priest energy, illumination, spirituality, uh, living a true authentic life. Next. 
King of Wands. Wow, there's a lot of court cards here. So this could represent a fire sign. Um, this is Brad Pitt from Fight Club. Somebody who is unchained, who is a free spirit, who is powerful, leader, uh, wand of spirituality. So this is an ex you know outward expression of this power onto the world. Whereas you know right below, below the strength card, which is an inward turning inward, using your inner strength. And again, with the chariot, is an outward. Um, so this is could represent the masculine really coming into his power. Um, being that leader, that spiritual leader, um, taking control, uh, yeah. So I'm noticing how there's the masculine energy and then again, you know, feminine on either side and needing to use that strength in order to make a decision. For, so for some masculines, you need to release a karmic or decide between two people. So last cornerstone card, devil interesting so this is the same card up here but it is a cornerstone card okay so let's look at all four of them the magician number one brand new beginning realizing how powerful you are you have the tools available to manifest your reality and that is exactly what you were doing you're moving forward you're manifesting okay but then it's like you hit this tiny roadblock that can cascade into this massive fear if you allow it right so that is the devil that is creeping up on you that is a devil whispering in your ear so the eight of wands again cupid's arrows communication sending those seeds of intention out into reality and manifesting it again same idea other cornerstone card lover's card desire passion wanting that connection that twin flame connection and there's a sense that it is nearing the completion of the cycle and the, you know for some will be manifested into the 3d reality um but what i'm really seeing here is masculine finding their power in order to place that final piece and disconnect from the devil um so again this entire perspective can be you know reversed for the feminine that the feminine needs to release the devil you know, it all depends on which aspect, which mind, which side of the mind is um, in control, right? Uh, the left is masculine, right is feminine, right is, um, you know, love, um, creativity, um, illogical kind of thinking. It's outside of the box, whereas the left side is, um, you know, logic, mental clarity, um, detachments from emotions. So, yeah, it all depends on what you're vibrating with, what you're resonating with um, today. So, the devil, um, it is a cornerstone card, so it is staring you in the face. You need to release that chain that is holding you back in this present moment, okay? And because it's a cornerstone card, for a lot of people, you will find that power and you will release the chain once and for all. Okay, so now I am going to um, use John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So I'm going to pull one card for the feminine. What is the feminine bringing into the union? Refusing to see two swords. And the masculine, 11, detached. So this is um, uh, the Justice card. So it's a major arcana. Okay, so there's a mirroring happening here. So the two is two ones, right? So 11, 11. Um, so refusing to see. This is having two choices, two roads. Um, and both have far-reaching consequences. And because they're so important, you can't make that decision. There's a stop. So the feminine is either waiting for a decision to be made or she needs to to see things clearly and choose from, you know, her heart, release what she needs to release. And yeah, the masculine justice card, this normally represents um, karma coming back to you in a good way. Uh, 
and it represents balance but here it says detach so the masculine is releasing um, he, what he no longer needs from his life um, so there's a nice deep sense of surrender here um, so again it points to this row of releasing detaching um, same thing here Okay, so your the feminine is refusing to see that you already have everything you need. It's right there in front of you. All right, so foundation, five of swords, win or lose. So again, there's a sense whoop, that there's a battle that's occurring in the near future. So this is conflict, defeat. It is... Um, deciding not to engage in arguments or drama and walking away from that. So because it's a foundation, you know, it's shared energy between the two aspects. So it means that there may be a sense of fearing what needs to be done and it's easier just to stay where you are. Or you know, that there's possibly some negative energy that is starting to stir up between the twins, um, or resentment, um, yeah, I don't know, that's an unusual card to have, but, wow, a lot of air happening here, okay, crowning energy, I want this one, seek, the hermit, so crowning, you're both detached, you're both in this hermit state. I know I've been um, needing to detach, release myself from the outside world so that I can work on myself, which is working on my cards. Um, and it's done me a world of good. You know, I feel rejuvenated and at peace. Um, you know, so... This is someone who's been on a spiritual journey for quite some time and has gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So um, there's a, an awareness that's crowning each of them, but also a disconnect. Okay, so the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. So dedicated effort. Overall, there's been... You know, both aspects have been working on their own self-worth. They've been um, on their own journey who and have, you know, put a lot of work into manifesting their reality. So overall, we have an Eight of Pentacles here, which is, you know, harvest and having abundance in your life coming in which is moving you positively forward it's a forward movement having resources and continuing to put that energy back in um, to propel you forward so there is movement in the material world there's manifestation that is happening here um, you know and it's equal to share between the two um, however like I said there you will be tested in the near future you need to release your worry, your guilt, your fear, and confront the person that needs to be confronted, um, or make a choice. Yeah. Love or, um, what, what am I looking for? Uh, love or obligation. Okay, so... I'm going to pull two cards from this in Mermaid, so this will be the final message from the universe. So, feminine first. Wow, seashell princess. That card made me cry a couple times. And the Tiki Mermaid for the masculine. So I'll read the masculine first, number 13. Below the tranquil surface of the azure waveless sea brews an ever-rising tempest, shaking, quaking to break free, stifling, sweating, hot and torrid, even paradise feels horrid. 
Remove the cork. Let it loose. Sorry, let loose the steam. Release your passion with a scream. <clears throat> Sorry. A tropical beauty lounges before a tiki god and an offering of fresh fruit, seemingly unaware of a volcano smoldering in the distance. In spite of her lush surroundings, the mermaid, uh, the mermaid's continents reflects internal dissatisfaction. So the meaning, get ready to erupt. Powerful forces have been building up inside of you for some time now. You can feel them bubbling beneath the surface, but you have somehow managed to keep them bottled up. Um, this cannot last much longer, and sooner or later, you will have to let loose. Anger, frustration, heartache, and despair. Everything you have been squashing is poised to erupt in a big way. Like the volcano, this is a volatile situation, one that cannot be contained or controlled. What's inside is determined to come out. Such a loss of control can be scary and unpredictable, but try not to be alarmed. Once the ashes clear away, this breakthrough will ultimately bring you to a deeper sense of well-being and peace. So, shit's about to get real. So number 39, for the feminine. For whimsy's sake, I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone, just you and me. The smell of sea salt in the air, the spring, sea sprung breeze of weather fair. Each other's thoughts, our only care, a life of living free. Perhaps a sunny, sacred strand where skies are always blue, a million pearls strung in my hair to show your love is true. The summer sun's forever hot, I found the one I've always sought. Everything else no matters not, as long as I'm with you. A doughy-eyed princess adorned with the bounty of the sea daydreams to her heart's content. She is a romantic, a dreamer, who listens intently to her own desires and, a, and has the passion to pursue them. So the meaning, go after your heart's desire. There is a dream stirring in your heart that needs attention. You have felt drawn to follow and nurture it, but you have you are having trouble letting go of practical, practical considerations and diving into the unknown. Know, however, that while many people reach for the stars, only the passionate actually climb up and grab them. Look inside yourself and rediscover the dream that has been buried under the trappings of day-to-day -day considerations and obligations. Reimagine the ideal life you longed for in the years past and write down the details. Put it down on paper and make a commitment to your younger, your younger self to strive and dream once again. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. It's like, you know, you're kind of caught in this, you know, in the mundane, working day in, day out, and losing sight of this journey. Um, so open yourself back up, and, and I see this energy, you know, motivating both aspects. There's something that is about to explode into reality. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I hope this helped. Let me know if it resonated. Um, I love your comments, so please uh, leave me a comment or subscribe. That would be even more awesome. Um, and, yeah, I love you guys. Cheers and peace.